All right, sound check. Test, test. One, two. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to another live event. This is Total OS Today, Total Technology for Beginners and Beyond. Broadcasting live from the US of A. Coast to coast, continent to planet, and planet to continent. Who knows? Welcome Cody Smith, William Armstrong, Coding Commanders, and the rest of you to the live stream. Welcome aboard. If you are new to all this, uh, don't be scared. Stop by and say hello. We are all friendly here. And if anybody is not friendly, I'll give him the old boot off the channel. So we'll do a little bit of news and nonsense for this sunny afternoon, even though it's cold where I live. It's uh, 14 degrees. And it sucks. But it's always warm inside the community, right guys? Ah, Anna Rita is in the house. I have to say hello to the missus. Hello, if she's there. Or should I say, hey, you say hello to the missus for me, okay? The godfather says hello, you see what I'm saying, hey. How's things going, Anarita? So we're going to have a little bit of fun today. A little bit of news and some nonsense stuff. If that's okay with you guys. If not, well then you've come to the wrong show. <laughs> a smart cat feed it. Well, I, yeah, pretty soon we're going to have a smart... Toilet paper. I don't know. Uh, Cody Commanders, 70s where you are at. That's right. You are in sunny Florida. You lucky little Miss Darling, you. Ah. Miss is washing what? She's not listening to the show. She's washing dishes. That is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You mean you don't wash the dishes? Huh. Oh, you eat off the dishes, right, and then the dishwasher kicks in, which is her. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I get it. For those passing by, again, say hello, don't be shy, subscribe and support this quality, I hope, quality tech channel. I think it's quality, I don't know. All the links will be below in the show notes. You can support the live streams through PayPal or shop the Amazon link. She's listening through the speakers. Okay. I should have had some sounds of clashing dishes to make her feel comfortable, right? Oh, it's her turn to do the dishes. Ah, okay. Right, right. I get it. Cody Commanders hate she hates dishes. Well, I sometimes use paper plates. The pa uh, Lamer do not use Canon for Linux printers. They are a BITCH to get running in Linux. Yeah, I would stick with HP or Epson. You will find a little bit easier. I've tested lots of printers. Printers in, printers in general are a pain in the you-know-what, Lamer, but yeah, uh, go to H, check out the HP. I have a, what do I have? HP something. I don't know, but yeah, I would check out the HP. I've had pretty good luck hooking up to Ubuntu Mate, no problems. And probably the second easiest would be Epson printer. Canon is the worst, period, when it comes to Linux. Oh, you use paper plates also? Okay, cool, cool. Nothing wrong with that. You're welcome, Lamer. I hope HP is plug and play for uh, Linux, you would think, but it's hit and miss. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway. So today's topic, we'll talk about that smart feeder. I guess that was the big news out of the CES Vegas show, really. Cat smart feeder? Okay, all right, all right. Lamer, that's a good price for Canon, but I'm just telling you, man, they are they are a uh, yeah, they're tough. Uh, 
me see here real quick here. Uh, HP printer. Wasn't going to talk about printers today, but just for you, Lamer. Let me see. Let me see. I have... I forget. That's a white one. Um, let me see if I see it here. Nope. I paid less than 50 bucks, or maybe just at 50 bucks. It wasn't that expensive, Lamer. Um, that's the one I would go with. Hang on one second. If you just want a simple... I don't print as much as I used to. Let me uh, lock this in here. Your cat feeds himself for free. That's... Well, that's good. That's okay, Lamer. Don't worry about it. Um, honestly, any HP is going to be fine. Yeah, I don't think you'll have a problem, but I don't see... A, I have an older model. Um, yeah, probably this one here, HP Desk Chat All-in-One. Probably be fine, Lamer, but yeah, I would I would stick with HP if you want to keep it simple. Here's one for 33 bucks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would recommend HP or Epson. Okay? All right. Steve Gerst. Hello. Welcome to the stream. If this is your first time, uh... Welcome, everybody. Please say hello to Steve Gerst from, uh, is that Michigan? And you agree, no cannon. Oh, I mean, it can be done. It's just, it's, it's a little bit difficult. I've hooked up cannon before, but it's not easy. Yeah, Steve. So everybody say hello to Steve. By the way, if if the background music gets annoying, I'll shut it off. I know most of you like like it, some don't. That's okay. Just something to keep this running, keep the show flowing. But if you don't like it, that that's totally cool with me. Kodak printer, okay, all right. Noah Bachman is loving Gnome Three this week. Oh my goodness, you need to see a doctor. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yep, it does have a contemporary look and feel. It just it's just trying to get extensions to work properly is a, a pain. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to, welcome to the Godfather. Thank you, Anarita. Hey Steve, good nice of you to stop by and say hello to the Godfather. You show your respect. Very good. Very good. I think I'm getting a phone call from Arnold. From California, it's Arnold calling. Good to be here on the show. Blah, good to be here. Yeah. <coughs> I just choked myself. Anyway, yeah, Steve, welcome to the live stream. You like the music, gives a professional look. Okay, well, thank you. It's from the YouTube audio library. Uh, the artist is Silent Partner. And check out the YouTube audio library. Chris is in the house. Hello. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Ciao. Aloha. Many ways to say hello. Dobre veche. I think that's good day in Russian or something. So if any of you, some of you may have heard about the yearly CES show the consumer electronics show in vegas uh, each year they show the new high voltage or high tech stuff uh, it was funny because they had a power outage <laughs> at the power show <laughs> and uh yeah how ironic your wife says hello very good anna does dishes only when she wants something <laughs> Oh, jeez. 
uh, a new pair of shoes, a new necklace, a new ring, a new car. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I, I tell you what, when it comes to girls, you, 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 you can never go wrong with haagen ice cream, chocolate brownies, <laughs> right? A spa package for the day for like two, three hundred bucks. Trust me, that works. And um, yeah, very good, Steve. Yeah, you've been listening for a while. Cool, thank you. So I completely understand, Anarita. All right, so. Anyway, this is a this is from the DailyMail.com from the UK. This five hundred dollars smart cat feeder that can recognize each of your pets and adjust the portions if they are eating too much. You mean cats eat too much? No. Oh, what gives you that idea? Cat's pad is able to read microchips to recognize different pets in the house, so you can get an iPad with your cat's pad. Hmm. Users can program it to feed at specific times or when a cat approaches it. Aha! It can keep track of their daily eating habits so you can tell if they're overeating. Okay. Well, let's read on. A high-tech cat, uh, a high-tech new cat feeder aims to take away some of the stresses of pet ownership. Cat's pad displayed in Vegas is, app, is an app connected food and water dispenser. Hmm can differentiate between multiple pets. $475 or 389 euros as of today. Uh, it can hold 1.7 kilograms of dry food and eight liters of water. That, yeah, yeah, are you crazy hell? Right, yeah. Uh, while, now I like pets, you know, but uh, while you are certainly, you certainly wouldn't want to leave your pet home alone for that amount of time, yeah, months worth, uh, the creators explain that it can help to ease your worries when you're on vacation and someone else is looking after your pets. Okay. It also helps. It also helps to keep your cat's weight in check as domestic cats become overweight. According to firm statistics, to the firms, statistics, roughly 60% of house cats in the U.S. are overweight. Really? Do we know someone on YouTube whose cat may be a little bit on the plumpy side? In a recent report from People's Dispensary for Sick Animals, experts warned that nearly half of all cats and dogs in the UK are obese. Well, stop taking them to McDonald's. Jeez. Nothing against McDonald's. I love their coffee and their chicken sandwiches are pretty good. Or if your cat, I guess it works with the microchip. Or if your cat, cat is a microchipped, it works with the cat's pad collar. And that is what it looks like. Hmm. I don't know about this one. I don't think. I used to have an automatic poo-poo dispenser thingy. That was like a hundred some bucks, battery operated. But it's, it would scare my cat. So I stopped using it. But here's a picture here of that. It looks like a little house. <laughs> little sleeping pad. Um... Honestly, if your cat's overweight, stop feeding it. <laughs> you don't need a freaking app to say, Hey, does my cat have a big tush? Um, some of the comments here. Uh, seriously, why do we need to take away human interaction? Yeah. Until it crashes when you have a hungry pet? Yeah. Waste of money. Aimed at lazy owners? Yeah. Yep. Do you need a separate one for each cat? I don't think so. <laughs> Pennsylvania cats? I don't know. Are they? Can dogs be trained to use it for human owners? Ha ha. You can use it for your kids too. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Interesting comments. For the 500 bucks... Uh, yeah, cat feeder. I don't know. 
I mean, really, if your cat has a diet problem, the problem isn't the machine, the problem is you. Right? That's how I see it. The gadget connects to Wi-Fi and has an emergency backup battery that can keep it going for a few weeks. Okay. And the accompanying app keeps track of your cat's diet. Maybe your cat needs more exercise. So let it go outside or buy a little kitty, you know, treadmill or... <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll work. My goodness. Well, that was the highlight of the CES show. Nah, maybe not. I think there's, there's an overabundance of smart devices coding commanders. I mean, I bought the Amazon Alexa because I use it at night and in the morning. It does come in handy to catch up on the weather, the news, play some music, stuff like that. Uh, it does come in handy, but it's not something I would use every day, of course. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm cool with the Amazon Alexa, and I believe that'll be the focus this year. Smart devices. Um, yeah. No, I haven't taken a look at, uh, at it yet. Uh, sometime I will see what's up with your channel, okay? Your wife says I might use this to Anna when I leave for the weekend, when I go see my mother for two days. Is she implying that you are slightly overweight? Is that what she's trying to say? You eat too many cannolis over there? Okay, so what is she putting in those dishes? <laughs> oh, it didn't go off? Ah. Alexa, what's the weather forecast? If it didn't go off, then it's broken. Lamer. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, uh, Thomas Reynolds made it here before I am done. Yay. Thomas, you have to say hello to a new person in the house, Steve Gerst. So please say hello to Steve. It's his first time here on the chat. Make him feel welcome. I like this song. Anyway. So I think that's all I'm going to say for the $500 Smart Cat Feeder there, Thomas. Uh, this is a highlight, low light, mid light of the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. Yeah, it's not something I would use. You know, if I think, you know, feed your cats, you should feed them, interact with them. If they're overweight, feed them less, let them get exercise. You cook, but you may burn the house down. Ah. I like that Talking Heads song. Burning down the house. Ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. Anyway. I cook sometimes. Yeah. Usually in the microwave. But with paper plates. What is the weirdest distro of all time? Uh, uh, Hannah Montana OS? I don't know. Justin Bieber OS? I'm waiting for Tony Montana OS, see Scarface OS, you, 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 you see what I'm saying, eh? Your cats would still wake up to, to get more canned food. Ah, well see, when I lived in Florida, I had a magic word, a magic sentence for my cats. If, if, if I couldn't find them and they were hiding, I would say, okay, who wants tuna? Tuna was the magic word, and they would, meow, they would come running around. And I would give them little cans of tuna. Tuna was the magic. That was my password for cats. Tuna. Who wants tuna? Meow. Me. Meow. And I would feed him the tuna as I ate my, you know, ribeye steak. And then they would look at me like, hey, we got the little fishy food. He's got the steak there. Hey, what's up with this? All right, so we all agree that all of us are probably not going to use a smart cat feeder. But if you have a lot of cats, I guess this might work. I don't know. 
I don't know. It's just not for me. I mean, I had two cats, and yeah. Had a couple bowls, one for him, one for her, and that was it. Let's move on. Linux phones that could not survive. That is true. Good picture. I have a dream. One day we will have good Linux smartphones. Good one. Well, the BQ Aquarius launched in 2015. And that was it. Uh, it was only made officially available in a handful of European countries where Ubuntu is famous. Did not go anywhere. Yeah, that's, that's a shame. Of course, this used the Ubuntu Touch operating system. I thought this would have went somewhere, but for whatever reason, no luck. Right, the Firefox OS phones. I remember those. This was launched in 2013. That's right. This continued in 2016. Where am I? Yeah, I'm in Ohio, next close to the Pittsburgh area. It is freezing. Yep. Well, we already have Linux phones. They're called Android. I know they're not pure Linux. I know they're based off of Gentoo, but yeah, they're just, I mean, here's the problem. You never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Are you really going to impress someone with a phone with just a gig of RAM? Probably not. Firefox OS, uh, I don't know the specs uh, of their first phones. I don't know what quality, but maybe they should just stick to the Alexa smart devices. Hello, Pseudo Linux, how are you? Samsung is a big name. What happened to Samsung? Uh, Sam ties into Samsung attempt uh, creating a Linux based operating system for mobile devices. There were rumors of Samsung officially replacing Android. Yeah, sure. Instead, Samsung launches its Tizen series of phones, which were, again, lower end devices that didn't sell much. Hmm. Yeah. 23. Albert, okay. Though it, has been, has, though it hasn't been sunny for Linux on smartphones, there are some interesting things to look forward to. The Librem 5 Linux phone, a lot of buzz, but well, I'll believe it when I see it. I hope they succeed. We could use another choice. Why not? So we'll see. My advice to Librem 5, they better have more than the gigabyte of RAM. Remember, you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. Don't forget. Oh, you used the, the BQ, Chris? The Ubuntu phone? Nice. It was fine. Okay, cool. Cool. Pulse Audio broke. Pulse Audio proct broke today. Oh, no. I don't, don't think that has anything to do with the uh, Spectre and Meltdown, does it? I don't think so. Anyway, let's see here. Firefox OS should have started started on tablets or as a Chromebook competitor, eh, maybe. Uh, let's see, Linux phones fail. I'm just, I'm just looking at the comments here. Linux phones fail for the same reason because of the mobile market, the OS almost doesn't matter. Hmm, it's the backing ecosystem. That's probably true. Android is successful because of the well-integrated combination of apps and services. Ah, okay. All right. Mentioned Nokia. Nokia's back. They're going back, to, well, they've gone back to Android. Hello, Ferrin, how are you? Yeah, there is a KDE Plasma Mobile, Chris. Um, mm -hmm. And that is my last word on Linux phones. The Vegas Pinball Hall of Fame astounds us with a huge rare collection. I'm just, I'm just looking at the ticker feed. That's interesting.
Well, goodbye to those Linux phones, I guess. Okay, so, what do we have here? He looks familiar. Logan Paul, will this story go away? Nokia is big in Portugal. Nice. YouTube suspends star Logan Paul over suicide video but leaves door open to future work. So, so you're going to ax a YouTuber, but you're not going to really throw him under the bus, as it were. That's interesting. Of course, you know, you guys know the story. He posted a video that meant he didn't mean to post that, but he did. He got 57 gazillion views. Then he later apologized. YouTube says you can't do that. They've thrown him out of YouTube. They've had, they've axed him, sort of. I uh, you know it makes me wonder. And this is probably a topic for another live event. But I think what happened here, though he posted the video, later apologized. There was a lot of backlash from other top stars. They, he should not have done this. YouTube said to him. You can't do this, you're gone. But then in private, YouTube probably said, hey, that was a heck of a viral video. But before you do that, call us first, then you can launch it, okay? That's my guess. I don't know. Coding search YouTube for Logan Paul and his, um, well, he had an apology too. Um, yeah, he went to, I guess there's a forest in, in Japan where people go to end their lives. It's very sad. Uh, yeah, I didn't really know about it until really this year. And it's, he thought he would go there as, I don't know, as a stunt. Uh, uh, to do a video and they found, yeah, they found someone hanging. They recorded it, and yeah, he should not have posted it. Um, but I don't think Logan Paul will be gone. Um, yeah, he earned over 12 million last year. Uh, that's a lot for a young man who still probably needs to grow up a little bit. You know, something like this, and I don't want to drag this out, but Obviously, it's part of the news. It's it's he's a big part of YouTube, but something like this really adds a bad name to YouTube. It distracts from the purpose of YouTube, which is free and open, quality engagement, and not stuff like this. Um, you know, it it forces YouTube to become more strict uh, in what is monetized and demonetized. Uh, YouTube. Panics, they demonetize almost everybody, even channels like myself who play by the guidelines, play by the rules. That's what I've been doing for years, and it's it's been successful. It's been at, well, it did work, not anymore. We now we get demonetized. So instead of focusing on what we like to do, connecting with you guys, now we got to think about okay, the AdSense revenue is almost gone. Now what do I do? You know, it's not what we want to do, but it is what it is. So. And stuff like this, creators like this, is not helping the whole social platform. Um, it's it's not user friendly. I'll, I'll put it to you that way, you know. So instead of focusing, you know, a majority of my time, live events, content news, heads up stuff like viruses and the specter, you know, meltdown thing to let you guys know what's going on. So instead of me focusing on that, now I got to do half my focus on, okay, you know, help out the channel through PayPal. Use the Amazon links. Please don't forget to subscribe. You know, I, I might go back to Patreon. You know, that's not what I want to be doing all the time. But thanks to guys like this. Anyway, I don't want to drag it out. So I'll just leave it at that. Okay. All right. Well, maybe he did do it for a clickbait. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's other news, Farron, yeah. Um, but, Coding Commanders, you're bad at playing by the rules. <laughs> okay. Well, next time I come to Florida, I'll come see ya. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, actually, anyone here is more mature than this guy. Probably. Probably. Um, it's, it's discouraging. It's annoying. You know, the last time my channel was successful, was paying the bills, was two years ago. And I don't like that. It's because I didn't do anything wrong. But see, that was my problem. I should have used more clickbait. I should have done videos of cats on fire or, you know, dogs being run over by trucks. There we go, Toss. You've been doing it all wrong, dude. You need to do shock video. Come on. Dummy. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, it, well, Thomas, it, it, it depends what rule breaking are you doing. Uh, you know, when I started this channel eight years ago, you know, I don't want to be like other YouTubers. I don't want to sugar and spice everything nice. You know, I call it as I see it. And if something is good, I say it's good. If something is stinks, I'll say it stinks. And I don't think there was a lot of YouTubers who had the guts who were honest like I am. You know, I've probably lost, I think I've lost as many subscribers as I've gained because of what I do. But... Thank you for sticking around, but that's who I am. You know, I call it as I see it. It doesn't mean I'm always right. I need a sugar mama. As long as she can cook. Right, right Anna Rita? Yeah, sure. As, as long as she can cook calamari, I'm good to go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So that's my thing on this Logan Paul. Uh, I, I don't know. We may talk about this again in another live event and the future of YouTube and what content creators can do to survive. Uh, it's, 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 it's annoying. It really is. Yes, we are keeping it real, Coding Commanders. Absolutely. That's why we are here. But, you know, don't forget, don't take it for granted that Whoever YouTube channel, you know, whichever ones that you like, don't take it for granted that the AdSense revenue will keep those channels alive. You know, it's it's not working for a lot of YouTubers. So, you know, subscribe and support those channels if you can, if you can, you know, and keep it going because there's a lot of junk on YouTube, as you see, and you have to sift through the junk to get through the nice, friendly stuff, quality stuff, you know, and, then, and unfortunately those channels... They're not surviving. Oh, well. Yeah, Anna Rita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Lamer, you found an all-in-one for 41. All right. Go with go with that one. Uh, if that's the one you like. And if I may throw in a plug, use the Amazon link I'm on the Total OS Today link. If it's not too much trouble. I get a little bit of a commission for it, but yeah, go, 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 go for it. Yeah. In the next episode of Switch Linux, Kitty sets Tom on fire for now buying a $500 cat pet. Yeah, somehow I don't see Switch buying something like that. Yeah. You're waiting for Plasma Mobile to fix its cellular bug. Ah, okay. All right. Um, let's move on. But Toss, to make a career out of YouTube is is not possible now. Uh, it is possible. Uh, there are channels on YouTube that are not, um, you know, shock, shock junk. There, there are channels that uh, YouTubers are making it a career. It's, it is possible. Uh... You know, you can say maybe they were lucky, it was their personality, they stayed away from the shock stuff. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Although nowadays, I think, Anna Rita, it's more difficult without a little bit of help from the community. Whereas before, say, 10 years ago, or 8 years ago, whatever, it wasn't that difficult. Uh, because YouTube has grown so much and there's more junk, it can be done. Like I said, up until two years ago, my channel was self-sustaining, I meaning it paid the bills. It, you know, it paid for equipment, paid for the internet. Uh, there was very little out of my pocket. They didn't cost me anything. And as long as you guys wanted me to do it, because I wasn't planning on being here for eight years. You know, I, you know, that's not what I predicted. 
but you know, as the channel grew, meeting more people, please help, I need help with this, can you answer this question? No problem, as long as the channel was self-sustaining, you know, but it can be done. That's the best answer I can give you, but we need a little bit of help from you guys to keep it going, yeah. So to answer your question, yes, it is possible, difficult, but possible. Big Daddy Linux, yeah. Mm -hmm. I sometimes jump on, yeah. It's not as easy as what is what it once was, Cody Smith. Part of it, the, there's a lot more uh, competition. You know, when I started this eight, eight years ago, there really wasn't a lot of quality Linux channels, in my opinion. Now there's a lot, and that's great. Um, uh, Lamer, the link is below in the show notes. I believe I stuck it there. Take Take a look. If it's not there, I will send it to you. Take a link below in the show notes. It should there's there's, there's two links, one for PayPal, uh, and then one for the Amazon. Uh, Amazon accepted me as officially as an influencer. I'm I'm proud of that. I'm very I'm very proud of that. Uh, now if, now if I could only make a little bit of few few pennies off of that, it'd be great. All right. You're welcome, Anna Rita. Thank you for asking. Okay, so enough of uh, Mr. Paul. Let's move on. Ah, this one cried. This was from a year or so ago. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where Spatry's at. I don't know. Uh, you see it, Lamer? Okay. Um, the next live stream would switch to... Lin Honestly, I don't know. Uh, he's had to uh, adjust uh, his schedule. Uh, he's having issues with AdSense revenue and he's had to adjust his schedule. Uh, we were hoping to do something last night, couldn't get our act together. Uh, Sundays are good for me, Sundays are not good for him right now, so I don't know, to be quite honest. Yeah, I know, like I said, he's had to adjust what he does to help cover the bills and stuff and do stuff outside of YouTube so uh, no I, I don't know stay tuned I'm sorry that's not a good answer but it's 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 an honest answer okay Manjaro is first on distro watch okay all right Shall we move on to some other uh, funny stuff, sort of? It's too bad about the Ubuntu phone. Yeah. Um, anyway. I did mention this a few days ago. Next Talk Cloud is an open source alternative to Google Hangouts. Great. TOS is an answer. Well, I've I've stuck around at years because people have asked me to stick around. Please answer. All right. Anyway, let, let's let's move on. All right. So, this is an actual company that is called. Uh, I guess I can say it, even though this is a family channel. Big ass fans. Uh, I guess they are based in Lexington. They are smart ceiling fans. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, I got I first got wind of this a few years ago during the uh, news and nonsense. Uh, why go big ass? Well, uh, you need to. <laughs> this is so funny. I know. I was debating about this. Because this is a family-friendly channel, but I, I, I guess we could talk about this. If, if this gets too much, tell me I'll go to the next one. So why go big ass? Well, personally, I, I prefer blondes, but no, that, but that's another story. Well, look, let's. I could certainly understand why you need a big ass fan. Let's say you built this huge Linux gaming rig computer. You know, running GNOME three. It's high in resources. It, you know, you need to cool it down. You know, you, you need a big ass fan to cool down your, your big ass computer. Or, wait, 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 or, you know, 
you, you, you need to cool down your your big ass cat. But a bum bum. Anyway, this is a real company based out of Lexington, Kentucky. I mean, we're making fun, but you know, it's it's all part of doing business, and that's cool. But I can certainly see uh, you 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 prefer a big one. Okay, I mean, I mean, look, if I can certainly see, like, say, there's a YouTuber who rents a big space, like there are YouTubers with you know millions, of, you know millions, of, you know of of subscribers. They they have uh, they rent like a mini warehouse with multiple computer servers and they need to cool down their big ass space so what is the answer it's a big ass fan uh, you have those fans now see see Albert now see you have those fans they are the size of helicopter blades ah yeah it does look like it right here <laughs> this is a uh, I satis a, a satisfied customer, I'd absolutely recommend Big Ass products, that is. Uh, it's an incredibly positive experience. It usually is. Die! Um, we have Big Ass Lights. To... <laughs> oh man, we have a Big Ass Light Bar. Uh, we've got you covered. Agriculture, aviation, commercial, fitness, government, industrial. Ready to go, big ass. I got a feeling that most people in this country already have gone big A. If you know what I mean. Hence we have the cat dispenser for cats who eat too much. Yeah. Sixteen foot fan. That's pretty big. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's check out a residential fan. Haiku fan. The world's most advanced ceiling fan. Hmm. Okay, starting at uh, sixteen hundred dollars. Uh, okay, so so that's that's the highest. Sorry, nine hundred ninety-five. The, the cheapest one is five fifty. Hmm. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Award-winning design. Wow. Seventy-five international design and technology awards. That's impressive. Who would have thought a big ass would win so many awards? <laughs> um. Go for it, coding. Yeah, I mean, look, this is the real news. You, you guys know all these years I've been doing news and not. It's only the real stuff, even if it's a big ass fan. Sudo Reboot is in the house. Everybody say hello to Sudo, my UK friend. How are you, Sudo? Yay. Sudo, we've been talking about a uh, product that comes out of the States. A huge smart ceiling fan from a company called Big Ass Fans. Yep. I wonder who thought of that name. Okay, we're going to start a company. Really big, big ceiling fan. We need to think of a name so everybody will remember. So that is my take on the Big A fans. I wonder what a lens diffuser is. Airfoils. Ah, I, I like that. <laughs> uh, my. Panted EC motor. You will pass as your wife says we have central air. Ah, okay, yes. So no need for those prices. Very good. Sudo, how Sudo Reboot, how have you been? Sudo, do you have a need for a big A fan for about a thousand dollars? Well, if you're running multiple computers, it does get warm, doesn't it? Hey, 
And some big A lights. Need to light up those big asses. Okay, enough of that. I think we've beaten that uh, topic uh, to the ground, as it were. I'm drinking uh, blackberry citrus seltzer water with no sugar. That's one way to not have a big A. Are we ready for some oddball news besides that? <laughs> You'll take two. Okay. Okay, Sudo. Yes, you need one for the... Uh, for the main com computer room, one for the Manjaro Linux room, right, Sudo? And then one for the missus, because you don't want to get a missus too hot, you know? You don't want her angry or anything, you know? So. Alright, let's move on. Oddball news, are we ready? This is from the UPI, UPI.com, woman's Taco Bell maternity photos go viral. A Georgia woman expecting her second child decided to take unusual maternity photos by holding the shoot at one of her favorite places, Taco Bell. That's a hell of a marketing strategy for Taco Bell. Hey, whatever works, right? Yeah, we look. There's too many pseudos here, man. <laughs> uh, yes, I am confusing you guys. Yes. Anyway, where was I here? Massachusetts man misjudged strength of ramp meant to lift car. The ramp failed. Hmm. We might have to take a look at that. Let me close some here, some tabs here. And let's see what this looks like. Yes, I have a Twitter. It's Total OS Today. Let's see the ramp fail, shall we? Okay, we got a little picture here, if you can see that. And... What the heck? The ramp is missing... A, 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 the ramp is missing a bottom, right? It's like air. Oh, that was stupid. Die. Let's move on. Uh, students use recycled materials to build can crushing machine. A group of university students in Mexico use recycled materials to create a can crushing machine to reduce waste. Okay. I'll go with that. Uh, let's see. Man presents wife. Ah, oh, here we go, Anna Rita. Man presents wife with a hundred thousand dollar lottery win for anniversary. Ah, oh, that should buy a couple pairs of shoes. Yeah, sure. Pseudo Linux. I just call you Su Su So Studio. Yeah. A. Pilot carves giant message in snow to pro pro propose to go. Oh, let's take a look at that. That's cool. Pilot carves giant message in snow to propose propose to a girlfriend. And there you go. How cool is that? Minnesota man preparing to graduate with an aviation degree uses piloting skills to propose to his girlfriend with a message carved in snow. Nice. Good for him. Butcher locked in freezer uses black pudding to escape. <laughs> a British butcher who found himself locked inside his walk-in freezer escaped by using a frozen black pudding to strike the frozen release button. Clever James Bond stuff. Yeah. Man steals personnel carrier, ramps his way into store. Looks like a freaking tank. Let's take a look. <laughs> uh, she wants the ticket, yeah? Yeah.
Yeah, Lamer, yeah. As long as you use the Total OS Today link, um, yes, it should uh, count towards a little uh, support for the channel, yes. Mm-hmm. It should, yeah. Armored vehicle driven through Washington Russian storefront in reported robbery attempt. Let's take a look. It's a freaking tank. Hmm, those Russians are crazy, comrade. We have some destroyed cars. Wow. How would you like to be in the store, look out the window and say, Honey, is that a tank coming our way? <laughs> oh well, I hope nobody was hurt. Let's move on. Woman returns dead Christmas tree to Costco for full refund. Really? Hmm. Maryland man collects fourth major lottery jackpot. You must, sh you must s share it with the channel, sir. Those are the YouTube rules. You win four lotteries. You share it with Total OS today, okay? Man aims to break running break record running best Boston Marathon backward that's interesting I wonder if that's even healthy okay Lamer uh, Lamer likes that's fine I mean if, if, if it's not on your budget don't worry about it you know but if you can do it great uh, all right, let's move on. Let's see. This was page one, I believe. And if there's a topic you want me to look at real quick, let me know. I'm probably going to end this soon. I need to run out to the store. I need to finish shoveling my driveway, too. Yeah. Just send gifts and money. Um, that's fine if you want to send me gifts and money now. Nah, don't send me any gifts. Just just use the PayPal link and the Amazon link, and that's cool. Uh, let's see here. Las, oh jeez, Las Vegas Strip Club draws in CES crowd with robot strippers. Is this what this world has come to? That's actually sad. Yeah. Security camera records Virginia man struggle with black ice. Uh, okay, let's have a little laugh at someone's expense slipping on the ice. I hope he's okay. Alright, so this looks like it's someone's driveway. Looks like it's the holiday. I see a Christmas Santa Claus decoration. Um, looks like he has a security camera on the driveway. Residential area. I don't see him, but let's take a look. It'll start. <laughs> of course, coding. <laughs> Come on, video, start. Well, maybe we will not see this guy slip sliding on the ice. Uh, Virginia man, security camera. Okay, this is in Virginia. Okay, all right. Let's search for that. Okay, let's try another link here. Okay. 
All right, looks like he's on his way. What? 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 what uh, wait, I gotta get to. Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! Hey! Whoa! whoa. Wow. He landed on the grass. How lucky is that? We slip slide. Whoa, 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 whoa. Huh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Looks like he's it's kinda of funny, but he's trying to jeez. <laughs> oh, not a good way to start the day, man. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Where were we? Canadian uses blowtorch to clear ice from front walk. Okay. Dogs pull man on bicycle through city streets during snowstorm. Oh, we gotta see this. Huskies, let's take a look. Oh, check that out, that's sweet. Yeah, man, I'm just on my way to Walmart with my dogs. You know, I'm taking my dogs for a walk. Actually, they're 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 t they're taking me for a walk. That is so cool. Check it out. How awesome is that? Yes, powered by Linux dogs. <laughs> awesome. I hope he feeds him. But not with that stupid dis dispensary thing, right? Yeah. Cool. What else do we have? There's another lottery news. Good for... Is that him? That's a him? I don't know. I can't tell. All right. A anyway. Passenger films Disney monorail running with door open. Ooh. That is not good. Men carry huge, huge refrigerator on motorcycle after raffle win. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Die. I know, lame, but that should G. Where was I? They're powered by puppy Linux. Everybody give a round of applause to Lamer. Yeah, she, I'm slipping. Yes, the ride went wild when they came across a cat. That is true. All right, one more page of this. That's right, Puppy Linux. What was I thinking? Ah, unsecured plastic barrels tumble from back of truck. This is Thailand. Uh, that would be scary. Oh. Deer crashes through glass store in high school. Ooh. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> uh, Wisconsin school. Why would the deer do that? Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What the? Holy cow! Did you see that? Jeez. <laughs> See, I know what was happening, Anna Rita. That deer was saying, you know, you're not so tough. You, you think you, you tough? Watch this. Watch me stick my head in that glass. Bing. Bada boom. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, here's some more lottery winnings. Man wins lottery months after wife wins publisher's clearing house. Clearing house. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Maybe I should ask him for a donation to the channel, right? Flaming spider causes $11,000 worth of damage. A California man using a lighter to kill a huge spider in his apartment ended up causing $11,000 worth of damage when the Spider when the acronid ignited a mattress. 
do, just squish it. Ugh. Swooping bats surprise shoppers at Walmart. Remind me never to shop in Texas. Let's take a look at that. Wow, okay, let's take a look. It's crazy. Guess this was Houston. And it's not gonna show. Oh well, let's move on. Yeah, not good. Uh. Alligators poke noses out from under ice to survive cold. Oh. Okay, Lamer, that's cool. Yeah, just if you're not sure, just wait. Look at that. And we got one of our guys right here. I wanted to get a little bit closer for you. Last video we did was a little bit far away. This gives you a little bit more of an idea how they're doing. You can see those teethers there with that nose hanging out. That is so creepy. And they all seem to be doing fairly well. We got a bunch of rescued alligators here. So these guys have previously been in captivity and so they can no longer go back into the wild. Huh. That is so crazy. A frozen alligator with his <laughs> snout sticking out to breathe. That is so crazy. Overturned semi releases hundreds of pigs <laughs> on the road. Okay. All right. Where was this at? It's a real pigsty out there. This was in Drake County in Ohio. Okay. Let's take a look. It's not often you see pigs in a highway. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, so Toss, what'd you do today? I rounded up some pigs. Huh? Hmm, let's see what else we have here. Another lottery news. Gee, a lot of a lot of lottery winners. Uh let's see here. Anything else catches my eye before we wrap this up? And nothing else. I think that's it I have for news. Unless you guys have something you want me to look at real quick. Yeah, that is it for me, guys. Do you have anything else? Now we'll wrap this up. Didn't catch anything outstanding on the news feed, so we'll wrap. Yes, pigs are very smart animals. That's right. Aha! Uh -huh. When the going gets tough, women are more resilient than men. <laughs> oh, why not? Let's go there. Uh, let's see here. Analysts three, of three centuries of historical data show women are more likely than men to survive famines and epidemics. Hmm. That's interesting. 
research a scientist at Duke University, Anna Rita. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. Yeah, but who's going to fix the plumbing? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know, Anna Rita. Yeah, what else is new? Right, right. I know. Um, that's really it. I don't really have anything else for today. Uh, anything here real quick before I say goodbye, goodbye. Uh, Gas-powered vehicle about twice as costly to drive as an electric, maybe. Yes, we are strong. We... <laughs> Oh, I, I would love to hear your wife laugh. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. That is it for this edition of News and Nonsense. You've been watching and listening to the Total OS Today Technology Channel. Total technology for beginners and beyond. If you are a beginner and have you heard of Linux, have you heard of Linux? You have. Why not try something called Ubuntu Mate? It's my current Linux OS of choice for beginners. Check it out. Ubuntu Mate, spelled M-A-T-E. And on that note, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. If you missed any part of this, of course, you can replay it at your leisure. And um, let's see, is there anything else I needed to say for today? I don't think so. Uh, let me look at my notes real quick. Uh, nope, nothing new for today. Oh, yeah, there was a topic maybe for next time. Amazon is on track to become a trillion dollar company. Yeah. Yeah. If I can get just a little bit of percent of that, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be all right. Yeah, there's a little percent of that. Then, the, you know, buy myself a new chair, maybe a little bigger monitor, uh, maybe a new set of dishes. <laughs> Paper dishes, that is. <laughs> all right, Anarita, Albert, Cody Command Commanders, Netra, Morosi, and both pseudos, Lamer, and the rest of you guys. This was fun. Uh, if you live in a very cold climate, uh, be safe out there. Remember, if, if, if the temperature drops to like what it is now or, you know, or zero degrees Fahrenheit, you can get frostbite in as little as 15 minutes uh, with exposed skin. So be careful out there, you know, if you're shoveling snow, whatever you're doing. So if you feel numb, get back in the house. And um, yeah. <laughs> I knew that would make a uh, paper plate statement. I knew that would make you laugh, Anarita. Yeah, I, I buy paper plates all the time. I buy the cheap ones. Can't afford the nicer ones, thanks to YouTube. Yeah, the next time, maybe I'll buy myself a nice set of Steve Jobs jeans. Yes, yes, definitely. Only if they come with built-in Bluetooth. Right? Because it, then I would always have my Bluetooth speakers. Uh. Coding Commanders, it's been a while since I've been down to Florida. It's been a few. I would love to come back. I need to check into the uh, film festivals for my dad's film. I know there's one or two big film festivals there in Florida. And um, anyway, hey, if, if my dad sells his movie, of course I'll come down. Yeah, we'll do a live Total OS Today live stream from Florida. Yay! Maybe I'll do a live stream from the local uh, dishwasher store. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we'll ever actually see Steve Jobs' jeans here in the States. I don't know. I mean, I know those guys won the... Their, they won their battle in court. But it just makes me wonder. But good for them, yeah. They got the name. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't copyrighted. And it's Steve Jobs jeans.
Steve Jobs underwear. Yeah, why? Why not? You know, people are gonna people are gonna see us. Say, wait a minute. All right, I have an iPhone. So, do I need the jeans to match the iPhone? Is there an app for this? You know what I mean? So, why not have Steve Jobs briefs? So, Cody Commander, yes, you can be on the live stream absolutely. If I come down to Florida, yes. And if anybody else in Florida would like to love to jump on, absolutely, I would do that. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yeah, we can talk about the, uh, I don't know, about the beach, the heat, the calamari, <laughs> the flat roads, no potholes. We can do a poll. How many people in Florida use Linux? Have heard of Linux? Do you even care? I think we should do a live stream from uh, South Beach, from Bell Harbor Shops. Yes. And just ask random people, hi there, can I ask you a question? Have you heard of Linux? I wonder how many people would say yes. I wonder how many people would say, as they're holding their Android phone, nope, nope, I don't use Linux, sorry. Really? Yeah. Might go time to go swimming. Might be time to go swimming. Florida, I don't know. I might do some shopping while I'm there. Buy American, yes, save some kittens. Why not, Thomas? Okay. All right, guys, that's it. Have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. This was fun. Be safe. As always, enjoy your technology. Don't text and drive. And um, any comments, anything we forgot, post them in the comments below. And that's it. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Come to my island, just you and me. Da 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 da